everybody, this is Christian from AndroidUnite.com here to tell you how to root your Galaxy S3. Now this root method has been uh, confirmed to work with the Sprint variant, the AT&T variant, and the T-Mobile variant. I've gone ahead and composed what I call a root kit. I've linked to it in the description so it'll be an easy few steps before you're uh, rooted and ready to you know, flash a few ROMs. I will say that you do this at your own risk, Android Unite. Uh, does not assume any liability for anything that might go wrong with your phone, so proceed uh, with caution. If you've never done anything like this before, I'll try to make it as simple as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. When you click uh, that rootkit and download it, go ahead and um, unzip it, either to your desktop or anywhere really if you want to create a new folder. You'll be greeted with four uh, files up here. You can see them at the top right. First one uh, is the Clockwork Mod Recovery LTE SGS3. Uh, it's a .tar.md5 file. Second of which is Odin 3 version 3.0.4, or 3.04, which is the latest version. Some Sam Samsung USB drivers, which you may or may not already have installed. This is the latest version. And the Team Epic Root from Recovery version 5, which happens to be the uh, the latest as well. Go ahead and start off by installing your Sprint drivers. Go through the motions and once you uh, are done, uh, go ahead and plug in your phone, which I will do so myself as well just to confirm. Here's my Galaxy S3. Sorry for the lighting, I'm actually using my HDTV here since it happens to be connected as my, as my uh, primary monitor. Sorry about that. Let me actually have to reset my phone so I'm going to probably cut away here and come back once it's booted give me just one second okay and we're back here's my uh, phone go ahead and plug in the USB cable and you do this do this to confirm um, that the com computer is communicating with the device if an autoplay window pops up then that means you've been successful Alternatively, you can also check by going to Start Menu and Computer, and if you see SPH L710 uh, in your uh, portable devices, then you have succeeded. You'll be greeted once you click in by either card or phone. Go ahead and click into phone. Now you are in the root of your uh, device memory. I've already transferred the Team Epic root from recovery file. It's a .zip file, as well as a ROM that I'm going to go ahead and end up flashing later. At this point you're going to want to disconnect your phone and go ahead and double click on Odin. Once you get inside of Odin you'll see that there's a folder. Just go ahead and extract that folder back into your uh, root files. Click into that new Odin file, exe file, click yes. Here is Odin 3. I'm going to go through a few options that you need to make sure are correct. Here in the options panel you're going to want to uncheck auto reboot but make sure that the F reset time is checked. So let me go ahead and do that now. Then go to PDA over here. It's the second one from the top. Navigate to your root files directory. Select CWM-recovery-LTE-SGS3 uh, and it's a tar MD5 file so go ahead and select that open it. You'll want to remove the back cover of your phone at this point You're, you will be doing a few reboots so it might just end up being easier instead of rebooting I'm choosing to just take the battery out you can choose either or putting the battery back in but with the cover off press the power button the down button the volume down button and the power button all at the same time and hold this will take you into download mode this uh, screen says that to continue click volume up I'm gonna go ahead and do that you are now in download mode it's at this point that you're going to want to plug in your USB cable. 
wait a few seconds the uh, computer might tell you that it's installing some drivers or whatever if it does so just let it finish now here on Odin once you get a little blue box that says COM and then a number after it doesn't matter what number it is then you are ready to go so setting the device aside I'm gonna go ahead and click start see a little progress bar here at the top left it says it took six seconds and when it says pass you are now complete you are free to take the phone off of the USB cord. Now it will not reboot since we unchecked the reboot option. Hey everybody, if you got pass uh, on the Odin 3 program, then that means that you successfully installed Clockwork Mod, but now we actually have to go through the rooting process. And so uh, go ahead and take the battery out and put it back in. You can apply the, ca the back of the case now, the back of the phone now if you wish. We're not going to be taking it off any longer. Uh, this time around we're going to be pressing the volume up button, the power button, and the physical home button at the same time and releasing after the first screen. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. We should see a fresh installation of Clockwork Recovery. And we do. As you can see there, we now are running Clockwork Mod Recovery as our default recovery. Using the volume up and down keys as well as the power button, we're going to navigate through this menu. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to go down to where it says Install Zip from SD Card, second from the top. Click the power button to confirm. Go down to Choose Zip from Internal SD Card. Go ahead and click the power button to confirm. Now as you can see down here at the bottom where it says uh, Team Epic Root from Recovery using the volume up button in order for it to be easier. Uh, go ahead and get on top of that one and go ahead and select it now. It's going to ask you if you uh, are sure you want to confirm. Say yes. Install from SD card complete. Okay, so sh we should now be rooted. I'm going to go ahead and with the volume up, select the go back option and then go to reboot system now. And let it boot up for us. Okay, it says Android is upgrading uh, starting applications. We are now into the Nature UI. I'm going to go ahead and unlock here. If you go into the app drawer and scroll over, if you happen to see the super user icon, it's the one with a gray one with a little Android par uh, pirate patch over his eye then that means you have successfully uh, rooted your Galaxy S3. I also downloaded an application called Root Checker from the Android Play Market. Go ahead and select that just to confirm. Verify root. If you get this black window asking for permission then you're pretty much rooted but go ahead and just allow. Congratulations this device is now rooted. Alright, that is all. Now you are free to install any custom ROM using Clockwork Recovery or any recovery of your choice. Have at it guys. Uh, just stay safe. Make sure to create backups um, so you can always restore the uh, default ROM that's uh, shipped by Samsung. And you are now rooted, ready to go. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and uh, follow us on Twitter at Droid Unite. This has been Christian from AndroidUnite.com. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.